Hello and welcome. My name is Brenda if you're new here and today is Friday, September 17th. I didn't film last week so I have um, a bit more to show today. Uh, excuse my red ears if you can tell. I was about to film and then the mail came and I was too excited to put my earrings in. Um, I have really sensitive skin and I can't find anything that doesn't irritate me so I wanted to put these titanium earrings in to try them out so I'm hoping that that will work um, <laughs> um, but yeah so I was dog sitting last week so I didn't film um, I was gonna show a few pictures of my um, I was dog sitting for my brother and sister-in-law so these are my what I refer to as my niece and nephew <laughs> um, but yeah it was fun to see them because I haven't really gotten to see much of them since COVID started. So it was fun to be able to hang out uh, with the doggies. Uh, so yeah, not really much else going on besides that. I stayed over there and watched them. And then this week has just been another week of same old, same old. So I do have a finish. And I have a start and I since it was two weeks I was working on so many things it was getting to the point where I was almost working on all of my whips so I just went ahead and decided to do that so all of my whips have at least you know a few stitches on it um, I think at least 200 is about what uh, that is so I will start with my finish this is, I'll show you where I was at. Um, this is from Oh My Stitches Shop on Etsy. And it's what I, it doesn't really have a, it's more of a generic name, but I've just been referring to it as Mickey Halloween Castle. And so I finished it. And that's what it's looking like. I don't know how I'm going to finish it, but. I'm happy to have it done. I noticed that uh, right here there's one little white um, stitch at the top but you can see it so I'm, I'm gonna have to move that. I have it you know running underneath in the back so I'm gonna have to fix that but besides that it looks good. I'm happy with it even with the one over one it's not, you know, full coverage, but it's looking pretty good. So, yeah. Then my start is one of the other salves that I joined that was free. You can't join it anymore. It was like a limited time. I think now you have to pay for it. I'm not sure, um, but it's from Stitchonomy. I think it's called Storybook Halloween. And this, I don't have the frame completely done, but this is where I'm at. I still need to put a few threads to the back, but it's going to be a book. So I have most of it done up here. There's, it's going to look like pages and then a spine of the book. So I just moved ahead because I was wanting to work on everything. So, but that's the base of the frame and I'm not sure when this starts I don't know if all three of the styles I started may start on October 1st but I have the important bit done there so we'll see where I get to next week on that and then I oh I didn't even say how many stitches I got on the uh, Mickey Halloween Castle, I got 548 stitches in to finish that one up. And then on Storybook Halloween, I got 1,374 to get that frame in. So, now I've got my stitching shelf, which I ended up just putting 225 stitches in, but I was happy to have that. Um, so I'll show you where I was at last time. I got a little bit more going in on the little jar. 
uh, my plan was to just, since there's so much confetti in here, that I'm just doing some, and then I start, you know, filling in with that color, same color, instead of just moving around in here, because, ugh. But, so I got a little, a lot of this is new, and then some in the jar. So, a little bit of progress. So here's the other styles that I had started last time you saw me. Um, this one is the Nightmare Before Christmas style from, it's on Story Stitches. I can't remember the name of the other group that is only for this, but I'll, I'll link that one. Um, it was free, or is free, I, I think, still you can get it. Um, and I got 1,363 stitches in to finish up the frame so that I'm ready for when stuff comes out. So this week I'm hoping to start a little bit of the building part up here. So yeah, I'm happy with how that turned out. This one I did a little differently than I did on the Tale as Old as Time because I was having such a hard time counting that because I just went all the way across. I didn't go off of it. So what I did on this one, I think on this one, <laughs> um, or maybe the storybook one, was after I learned that was I would go here and then put one little stitch here so that I would only have to count that much and then not obsess over counting the whole thing. So, so that that and this is also from story stitches this is the tale as old as time sal um and i got 878 stitches in to finish off the frame the main frame part of this one so i've got that far and then there'll be the castle up here sorry it's wrinkly but yeah, I really like how this one looks, the stitches and the, the sparkly. Uh, I'll probably have to do some more opalescent fabric because I really like that. Um, but yeah, I like how that is turning out and I will just be continuing on on that along with everything else. Um, so because I worked on every a whip I have I got some stitches in on my woodland snowman I got 222 stitches in and I'm hoping you'll be able to see it okay oh. so that's where what I worked on was I filled in a little bit it's like a lighter purple hopefully you can tell compared to the picture from last time I worked on it but got a little bit of progress on that it's cute <laughs> um, so I've got a few left um, on this one it's my Disney dogs of summer Sal which the it was free when it first came out but now it's for sale on her um, Etsy, it's Abby Sue Designs, if you wanted to get this. She has this, and then the Disney Cats of Disney Autumn. Sal, if you want to do that one, I think it just started. I'm probably going to wait a little bit before I start on it, since I have so much already going on. But I got, uh, I'm trying to find it in my notes, 723 stitches in to do Doug. And he's pretty cute. Um, I'm trying to see here. Yeah, I like how he turned out with his little his little outfit. <laughs> uh, so five dogs left. Um, I don't know if I will be able to keep up with the one dog a week or not, but I am going to try with all of these other styles I did want to get a little progress but we'll see 
I'm just gonna kind of stitch on what I feel like stitching and that's what I'll end up having and then like everyone else uh, that I've seen <laughs> on Instagram and uh, on their floss tubes uh, I've got the cryptid sal from witchy stitcher and I forgot to do a little bit of back stitching on the bottom before the before I filmed here but I did finish the first cryptid uh, it's Mothman. I think he's pretty cute. I forgot to do the stitch. There's a back stitch around the around there. So that is that. I really like the third cryptid came out today. So I've seen what the second and third one look like, and I'm excited to get to those. So uh, there's too many things I want to work on. I like all of this stuff. That I have going on so I don't know which one I, <laughs> which one I'll pick to do next but so this is my last whip that I have uh, this is the Oracle Sal well it's Oracle Sal on Facebook is the group and this one is the Halloween Oracle um, they just came out with their Christmas one uh, so if you wanted it join in on that one so I ended up getting 879 stitches in to get up to I did sorry it's hard to hold uh, I ended up working on this section and last night I got this guy in on from this section so I finished the third release I believe and then this is the part of the fourth one so I'm happy with how it's coming out I'm excited to continue on this one as well I wanted to kind of get this one done this week but I, I don't know so yeah that is all of my whips it was a lot of stitching <laughs> um, so my plan is to, like I said, just kind of stitch what I feel like. Um, probably will at least be some on the tail of the oldest time since I'm really liking stitching on that. Uh, it's a 28 count Lugana. It's got two, I mean over two, so I'll probably be stitching on that. Um, so yeah, as far as what I've watched, I watched a lot of stuff. Um, but things that I wanted to mention was, it's a show on HBO Max. Um, I think it was originally on Showtime, but I think my husband was telling me that, I guess HBO bought the rights to do a third season. Um, I'm not sure, uh, I think so. <laughs> um, but we watched the first and second season. And did I say it's, it's called Warrior? And it's kind of, Western Kung Fu. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a really good show if you are interested in, you know, checking that out. I would at least go check out like a trailer or something and see if you would be interested. It's very violent if, if that's not uh, your kind of thing. But there's some really cool fight scenes and I don't know. It's just a, it's a good show. Um, we finished up the second season last night. Um, so in the beginning it says that it's based on writings of Bruce Lee um, so that's you know kind of what uh, the feel is of the kung fu parts um, <laughs> the fight scenes and stuff um, there were some exciting ones near the end there uh, yeah I would definitely check that out if you like that kind of uh, show so the other thing I watched was creep show and it originally was on Shudder. I don't have Shudder, so it was on AMC. I was only able to watch two episodes. Um, I think they're showing next week. Gonna have another one? I'm not sure. Um, but I enjoyed those. It was just kind of, you know, cheesy, uh, cheesy horror type of show. And it's kind of like comic book style with it and 
I don't know, just a fun, a fun cheesy show um, that I really wanted to watch more of, but it's not, not ready to, to watch. I think there's, I, I don't know if the third season is going to come out or if it already has, uh, um, like on Shutter. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's fun if you like that kind of, of thing. So yeah, that's all I've got for this week. Um, I will be back next week as normal as on my weekly schedule and I um, look forward to seeing you guys then. I hope you are all doing well and having fun stitching or crafting or whatever it is that you're up to and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.